Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So I'm here with my unboxing video and first impressions of the brand new Google Pixel 3a XL. Or maybe it'll stick, I've been calling it Axel in conversation to other people, at least tech nerds anyway, because 3a XL is just really too much to say in conversation. So on the back, I got the Team Pixel stuff there, cool little decoration, um, yeah, rock on the bottom, and then same old normal packaging on the front. Google on the side shows off, got the orange button. I ended up with the white model. I was hoping to get purplish. I really was, but apparently T-Mobile doesn't have purplish in stock. Uh, or they're not even selling it, I don't believe. On the box, 6-inch display, 64 gigabytes of internal storage. Clearly white. And voila. There we go. So this one, they changed things up. It's not metal, it's made out of polycarbonate, which some people keep referring to it as plastic. Yes, it is plastic. It's not the normal plastic that you're accustomed to. It is a little bit more durable. So when you think polycarbonate, think those protective cases, they have polycarbonate shells typically. So that's what gives them the extra backbone and heft. And even the Blackberry, I got some ink on my finger there. The Blackberry Key 2 uh, LE was made out of polycarbonate and I had no problems with it. So straight out of the box, uh, it's light, it's balanced. I can't really say it feels overly lighter or more light than the Pixel 3 XL that I had back in the day. It feels pretty similar actually, but it doesn't feel cheap. Uh, it has a nice weight to it. I'm not going to balance it on my finger because I'll drop it and smash it. So here we have the camera on the back, the LED flash, our fingerprint sensor, the Google logo. It does have this frosted appearance to it, just like on the 3 and the 3 XL, except no, it's plastic instead of glass. So there we go. Single isolated camera on the front. You can see there's no notch. Top speaker there. Um, from what I know, the bottom speaker is down here now instead of the dual stereo front firing, which I'm actually okay with because I never really cared for it all that much anyway. Uh, USB-C connector, all that jazz, and the volume buttons. have a little bit of a... Those do have a little bit of a plasticky kind of a tactile feedback sound to them. Hopefully that breaks in good. And let's hit the power button. Uh, now, I was really impressed when I went to the store yesterday and I got my hands on the demo unit. The OLED that it has, the full 1080p plus OLED, there's our some ejector tool, some documentation, which nobody ever reads. And then we have our standard Google USB-C to USB-C charging cable. We've got a USB adapter here so you can plug it in and transfer your storage and other stuff like that. You can even plug certain things into the bottom of it. So here's my microphone. Ta-da! I use my microphone via one of these adapters that I plug directly into the USB-C port on my phone. So they're very helpful and very handy. And then here we have our power brick. And it's supposed to be fast charging. Let's see if I can find the what it says exactly on here. I want to say it's 18 watt. Uh, don't quote me on that just yet, but I think it's 18 watt. I know it's supposed to be faster than uh, some of the previous stuff. So there we go. Quick charge straight out of the box. Here we go. Our initial setup, but it's got a 6 inch OLED high definition 1080p plus. The plus stands for the, it's like 19 by 5 by 9, I think, aspect ratio. It's a little bit different, but overall, and it looks good, and I'm not too really concerned about it because there's a 6.3 inch screen on the on the 3XL, uh, but you have that notch, so we don't have a notch there. We have a full uninterrupted display, even though it's not edge to edge, but I'm actually I'm okay with that. Uh, as long as they make good use of the space, the phone is practical, it performs well, it's got the Snapdragon 670 in it. Uh, I was a big fan of the 660, it was in the BlackBerry Key 2. It had power for days. Uh, one thing I do wish that this had, I'll go through the rest of the setup later. Um, one thing I do wish that it did have was six gigabytes of RAM to make it a little bit more future proof. But I mean the Pixel 3 and the 3X only have four gigabytes of RAM, albeit a Snapdragon 845, but this is more than a formidable processor. And it'll squeak out uh, extra battery life out of the 3700 milliamp battery that this has on board. So it's 3000 in the Pixel 3A, the 3AXL or the Axle uh, has 3700 milliamps. 
So that's good as well. 64 gigabytes of onboard storage. It's not expandable. There's no IP68, no IP67 dust and water resistance, but I mean, I have phones that do and I don't take them anywhere near the water. So it's just kind of a cardinal rule of mine. Don't take it near the water. You don't have to worry about it. Put a case on it. That's what pretty much the rest of the world does. Uh, if you really want to take it in the water, get one of those special bags. Wireless charging. It doesn't have that either, which I really don't care that much because I do use wireless charging typically at night. Uh, I put it on a little charging stand before I go to bed. Um, but otherwise, if I'm using it during the day, it never sees a wireless charger. Why? Because you cannot put your phone down on a wireless charger and use it at the same time. Plus, the quick charge is still so much faster. So that's what I use to charge is a 18 watt uh, quick charge 3.0, 4.0 charger. So that's really kind of the best you can get whenever it comes to the charging world. This should last for a very long time. And people are also concerned about the battery life, but when you have a 1080p resolution versus a Quad HD+, Plus, um, it doesn't have to work as hard, so you're not burning up as much juice trying to power the stuff on the screen. Plus the OLED, very power friendly because it dominates with blacks versus the white balance. And of course it has the dark mode stuff on there now too. So this should last for a long time, no problem. And also from what I know, it doesn't have the squeeze feature. So they took some things out of it, but I really don't think they took anything out of it that matters too much. Uh, that takes away from the core experience. It still has the phenomenal uh, Pixel 3 and 3 XL camera on it, which should be the bee's knees. So I'll test that out, take some images, see how it works out. But this is my unboxing initial impressions video of the Pixel 3 uh, AXL or Axel, if you want to call it that. If you don't, yeah, that's fine too. It may not stick. But either way, uh, I do like it. I'm anxious to get this powered up and uh, get all my stuff going so I can put it through a full test and workout and get to enjoy the Pixel experience again because their software, in my opinion, is pretty much second to none. You know, you get the bare bones stock experience, the Android Q beta coming out. It's available on the Pixel phones as far as I know. So I'm going to test that out, give it a whirl, see what's changed, enjoy some of the new enhancements. And then, of course, you want to pick one up. I got mine at T-Mobile. They have great trade-in deals right now. Uh, it's not a plug for T-Mobile, but if you want to get one of these in your hand and you happen to be a T-Mobile customer, giving up to 400 bucks off right now, uh, really, I bought a Generation 1 Google Pixel phone for 100 bucks off swap and traded it and got 400 bucks towards this. So uh, it was a great financial decision, I thought. Uh, hey, maybe it'll work for you. Either way, um, that's all I got for this uh, unboxing video impressions with the new Pixel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments section. I'll get back with you. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all the thumbs up, like, support, and uh, y'all continue to watch my videos. So if you like it, share it. And if you don't like it, let me know so I can make some adjustments and try and put out better quality, better quality content. So thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.